Look, we, we talk about momentum and share price, but we, we don't often talk about momentum and fundamentals. So the momentum and the fundamentals continues to improve. I bought some actually right after the opening, then start to rally, then it dipped again to the opening level, so I bought a little more then. So, so it's a pretty decent sized position. There's scarcity value here. The company's extraordinarily well run. I mean, you would never have thought the company would be what it is today versus the IPO, where it's purely moving people around. So I continue to like it, and I continue to think that it's going to perform. They talk about Japan. They talk about Asia. Those are virtually untapped markets. So the growth remains there. I'm staying with this one and adding to the winner. I love the way that Weiss put that, momentum and fundamentals, because it is short-sighted to only look at the momentum in a multiple and the momentum in the stock price. Um, and you can apply, you know, to Meta when you talk about momentum and fundamentals and NVIDIA. At some point, you have to wonder if the momentum sort of starts to outpace the, the fundamentals in, in, in some respects. You own Uber as well, that, that, and you, you're holding on to it. No, that's, that's fair to make that assessment, but I, I, I agree with Steve. There's momentum and fundamentals, and it's been obvious that this company has seen an acceleration in the strong fundamental momentum of, over the past year. This is a company that's going to ultimately increase its buyback. This is a company that's had its first annual operating profit. This is a company that's improved its balance sheet and it's positioned itself remarkably well. Here we are, 7117. I think the company goes well above $80. It's seeing strength in mobility. It's seeing strength in delivery. And it absolutely obliterated, which I keep pointing out, Lyft. Brian, you own it too. We do. Who would have thought Weiss and I were so aligned on a day like this? Just amazing. Um, <laughs> no, we bought it late last summer. I talked about living by the sword, die by the sword. We bought it at, at the beginning of a month, I think August 1 last year after mm -hmm. this, uh, after the stock was really getting hit. So we really like the name in terms of diversifying. Remember, it's an industrial name. Uh, and we like the growth that it actually brings to industrial stocks, especially given the fact that we, we see more earnings growth on the domestic side of industrial. So that's why we really like it.